All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a little lesson about increasing intervals or intervals of increasing, interval of decreasing, intervals of constant. Uh, so this is the note paper that's on the front. Uh, and what you're trying to describe uh, today are the intervals where the function is increasing, meaning the slope is positive, as in as you go from left to right, where is it going up? Uh, and then also the intervals of decreasing where the slope is negative, as in, when you go from left to right, does it go, where does it go down? Uh, so uh, this function here on the far left is entirely decreasing. So if it's asking what the interval of increasing would be, there'd be none. Uh, this is just decreasing everywhere from negative infinity to positive infinity. Uh, it's almost like you, you got a little guy here and uh, you, uh, you're traveling from left to right. And it's just down, 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 down. Well, let's go to this next graph. As you go from left to right, is it going up or down? Well, it's entirely going up. Just up, 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 up. Uh, even over here on the left side, where it doesn't look like it's moving a whole lot, it is going up because it's exponential. It's just going up little tiny bits as you go from left to right. So this one, this function is an entirely increasing. So from negative infinity to positive infinity, it's all increasing. It would not have an interval of decreasing at all. Uh, well, let's jump to our last one, which actually has different parts that do different things. So it's going to have, like, semi-interesting answers. Um, Uh-oh. No. Redo. I want the guy back. Okay. There's a guy. Um, so, yeah. This, this will be a much better example for showing what's going on. So as we go from left to right along our function, he starts out by increasing. He is going up. And then he teleports up here. And then at this point, as we go left to right, he's going down. Whee! Lands here. And then it goes up for a while. And after that, it doesn't go up or down. We would consider this constant. So if I were to label these, this is like, this is increasing. This is decreasing. This is increasing again. Uh, and this guy here would be constant. Uh, and if you're going to write down these intervals for each of these, you do need to remember we're writing over which x values it's increasing or decreasing or constant. Uh, and so this section here, uh, if I uh, kind of draw myself a, a line, everywhere to the left of this, that means towards negative infinity, uh, it is all increasing until it hits this value here, which happens to be negative 2. So going from negative infinity to negative 2, this is all increasing. Uh, and even though I put a, an arrow here pointing left, that's just showing that it's on the far left. When you're trying to figure this out, always go from left to right to figure out if it's increasing or decreasing. So from the dawn of time, negative infinity, up until negative two, it's all increasing. And then we got this section here, which is decreasing. And that section goes between these two x values, which happen to be negative two and zero. And so that's gonna be my interval of decreasing, negative two, zero. Uh, and then there's another section here that's increasing, and it increases until it reaches here. And again, I'm not going to put this y value. You don't put the y values on these intervals. You put the x's. From this x to this x, it's increasing or decreasing. Uh, so this starts increasing here at the x value of 0, and it stops at an x value of 2. Uh, and then on this last section here, it is constant from this x value on to the right, which is from 2 to infinity. Infinity meaning to the right it is all constant. So I got four different intervals, two of them are increasing, one of them is decreasing, and then one of them is constant. Uh, so that kind of gives you a feel for what's going on. If you want, you can check these on the bottom here. Uh, there's two increasing intervals on this last graph, one decreasing interval, and that's what those are. So let's jump to the assignment and look at a couple of them. See if we can write down all the intervals. This is actually really similar to the one we were just looking at. Uh, and so what I'd like for you to do is just pause the video and see if you can write out each of the intervals uh, describing where it's increasing, where it's decreasing, and where it's constant. So go ahead and pause, see if you can do that. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to start by dividing this into the different sections. And I'm doing these, these vertical lines to show it. So in this first section, it's increasing, then it's decreasing, and then it's increasing, and then it's constant. That's really similar to the one we were just looking at. Uh, so this first section here is increasing, 
And it started increasing from the far left reaches of space, which is negative infinity. And then it stopped increasing here. But I don't put my y value. You don't put the y value on any of these. You put the x. And the x value here is halfway between negative 4 and negative 2, uh, which is negative 3. So it goes from negative infinity to negative 3, all increasing. So let me put that on my increasing part. Negative infinity to negative 3. Uh, this next section is decreasing. It starts decreasing here and ends here. But once again, I don't put my y values. I put the x's. That's why I draw these, these vertical lines, because it's splitting it along the x direction. So it goes between this x value and this x value, which is negative 3. And then the next x value is negative 1, uh, not to be confused with the y values. So this section here is negative 3 to negative 1. Uh, so I'm going to put that on my decreasing. Sorry, negative 3, negative 1. And then I have another section here where it's increasing. It starts increasing down here and stops here. Those x values are negative 1 and 0. So it's increasing from negative 1 to 0. And when you have multiple intervals where you have a, a property such as increasing, you do need to connect the intervals with a U, standing for union, which uh, means uniting things together. So those are both increasing intervals. Uh, and then the last part here, this is where it's constant. It starts being constant here, and then forever to the right. So that's infinity to the right. And the left end of this is not 2, but instead 0, because that's the x value. And remember, you're saying between what x's is it constant, and it's from 0 to infinity. Uh, so I'm going to put that 0 to infinity. And there's my problem. All right, let's try one more, see if you can do it all by your lonesome. Um, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can write down all of your intervals, and we'll have you check in a moment. All right, so again, let's divide this. Divide, 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 divide. So I'm breaking this into sections. The first one, it's decreasing, and that started decreasing on the far left side, so that's negative infinity. And it stops decreasing here. I'm not going to put negative 5. That's the y value. I want to put negative 3, which is the x value there. So from this everywhere until you reach negative 3. And then the next section is increasing. So that starts at negative 3. Uh, let me do some reason to clear some of these marks out of the way. Um, and then it stops increasing here. But I'm not going to put 4. I'm going to put 0 because that's the x value. Once again. Think of it between the lines. The lines tell you the x values. Uh, and then this next section here, it is constant. I'm not going to put 4. I'm going to put 0 until I reach this x value over here, which is 4. Uh, and then this last section here is all decreasing. So I need a u for another decreasing interval. And it starts decreasing when x is 4 and continues on to the right forever and ever and ever and ever. So as x goes to infinity, it's still decreasing. But there you go. There's uh, examples of, po of increasing, decreasing, and constant intervals. Good luck. Hopefully you find that helpful.